So a patient comes into your clinic, shoes and socks off, feet in front of you and says, Dave, can you tell me what this is? Now I'm assuming of course that you're all called Dave and you all have clinics, but if you don't, just watch and see if you can get something from it. So I look at the feet and I go, yeah, I think you've got athlete's foot. And they go, no, can't be athlete's foot. I've been treating it for athlete's foot. The doctor's been treating it for athlete's foot and it's getting worse. Now, of course, at that point, my alarm bells start to ring because generally if it looks like a duck, walks like a duck and sounds like a duck, it probably is a duck. And while there are so many kind of rashes and problems with feet in a dermatological sense that it could be other things, Common things are common, and athlete's foot's very common. Now, when you ask them a bit more, when you quiz them a bit more about what's been going on, you often find out that they've been given or they have purchased a combination of an antifungal cream and a steroid cream. And that always raises alarm bells, and I'll tell you why. The steroid is great because it reduces the itchiness, but what it also does is it also reduces the inflammation at that local point where the infection is and almost reduces that skin's chance of being able to fight off a fungal infection. And if the antifungal cream doesn't adequately treat the fungus, it means that fungus can take hold and it can spread. We have a fancy name for it. We call it tinea incognito. So imagine tinea, fungal infection, and incognito as hidden. There you go. That looks a bit freaky, doesn't it? So what we normally advise our patients at this point is we say, look, the cream you're using is it's okay, but actually what you need to do is you need to try a different cream. And I have a cream I recommend quite a lot called Tabinafine, plus all the usual bells and whistles, uh, you know, socks, high temperature wash, change your shoes, all that kind of stuff. And in most cases, four weeks of that will get rid of it, knock it on the head. There is a chance that it won't. There is a chance that there is something else going on and that's where we start to investigate a little bit more. But if you've had a fungal infection or you know someone who's had a fungal infection which has been going on for a while and they've been treating it and it's been getting worse, it's often worth getting a second opinion. It's often worth coming and chatting with a podiatrist, you know, someone like me, who can have a look at the feet, have a close look, maybe even send off skin scrapings, which is the gold standard, to help sort that problem out for you. Now, of course, if you've got any questions or any comments, pop them below and I'll answer them as best I can. See you guys later. Bye-bye.